Good evening, Taurites. For the new addition to the Wolfpack, my name is Bertram Anderson, and I am the Student Services and Development Manager for the El Salirani Hall. And I will be with you for the academic year 2020-2021. This meeting is formally called to order. And before we go any further, I'm going to ask Ms. Erica Harris, one of our resident advisors, to offer a word of prayer. Erica? Thank you, Miss Erica. It is indeed a pleasure to welcome our returning Torex and, of course, the new wolves, as we would call them when they're inducted into the Elsley Ryan Hall's family. This year is one of those years that we would say it is very unique and it is very different to what we are all accustomed to. The COVID-19 pandemic has caused us to be operating in a virtual space. And of course, it would have changed how we interact with, with each other and how we treat with events, portfolios, and of course, the face-to-face -face interaction that we would have as a whole, we know that has to be put on hold until we get word and whether we're going to be moving back into the hall space or whether this is going to be for the entire year or the entire semester. In any event, at Towers, we expect all our students to continue to participate in the activities and programs that are led not just from the TOWERS uh, side of things, but also from the Office of Student Services and Development. There are a number of portfolios and activities and events that we are going to be asking all our TOWERS to ensure that they are a part of. I want to welcome of course our resident advisors we have 16 resident advisors and i will be introducing all the resident advisors to you or they will come and introduce themselves and tell you a little bit about who they are and of course we welcome the hall committee members who have joined us and of course you will hear from the hall chairman mr daquan Coombs, who will bring greetings and of course we'll speak to you from the student perspective at this juncture i would want to congratulate all the new students who have done well enough to be accepted into the university and would have started their sojourn in achieving their life's dream i want to of course, congratulate all my outgoing uh, Torahites who would have completed their third year or their fifth year, depending on if they're in MedSci. And of course, those persons would have 
lived with us, most of them, for at least three years and would have finished their university sojourn and would have done towards university themselves and of course their parents and community proud. So again, I want to just congratulate all the persons who have done well in their exams and are moving on to greater and higher things. But of course, I welcome each and every one of you to our, our first hall meeting and of course to Elsa Lirani Hall. The resident advisors and the hall committee, they have planned and are planning uh, a special kind of engagement in terms of whether an, an induction or, or, or incorporation of the first years who would have missed would out have missed on the out. grand event of being bestowed, bestowed the honor of the wolf, order of the wolf. And because of the pandemic, of course, we have to shelve that until another time. But we are thinking about and planning another way to ensure that we formally welcome the first years to the Towers family. At this time, I'm going to ask the resident advisors to go to the lectern and I want them to introduce themselves and tell you a little bit about their portfolio responsibilities. Mr. Burns. Good evening, everyone. Tony Maxwell here, Senior Resident Advisor. My responsibilities include towards Honor Society, Academic Support Unit, UA1 Live, as well as the Hall Committee and the Tower of Olympus. We look forward to working with you all this year. Welcome. Good evening, Torahites. Welcome back. I am Rajel Brown, the Deputy Senior Resident Advisor, and I have responsibility for the Environmental and Beautification Corps, operations, and many other things. Um, please follow us at ELR underscore environs, and we'll be having a lot of activities and engagement events for you guys. Thank you. Good evening, Tower Rights. I am Devonna Linton, resident advisor with responsibility for Tower 5, the Tower of the Mighty Dragons, UE1 Life, Tower's External Affairs and Community Engagement, and uh, Career and Development, as well as the first day experience. I look forward to communicating with all of you via social media and other means. I'm so sorry that this is how we have to go about this year, but we're going to get it done nonetheless. Welcome. Good evening, Taurites. My name is Cheyenne Crooks. I am one of the resident advisors for the Tower of Apollo. I um, oversee the portfolio of excursion and expeditions events, cheerleading, and many other things. <laughs> so um, unfortunately, we won't be greeting you and exploring our university space and university, university life. However, this new channel of operation, I hope you engage as much as you would engage while living on hall. Good evening, Towerites. My name is Erica Harris. I am in charge of portfolios such as inter-tower events, entrepreneurship, and academic support for sports. Despite the many challenges and you know our new COVID reality, I do hope that we'll be able to achieve all that we have planned and i look forward to a wonderful year with you all thank you
Good evening, Tower Rights. I am Jodian Prendigas, one of your resident advisors in charge of the Tower of Orion, I'm director for the Towers Courtesy Society, manager for hospitality and decor management and events. Um, I'm here just to encourage each and every one of you to participate as, participate as much as possible, even though we're not in our normal state. So I look forward to working with each and every one, one of you throughout the rest of the academic year. Good evening, Taurites. My name is, good evening, everyone. My name is Christine Charles, and I, will, I am the resident advisor for the reigning Tower of Towers, the Tower of Phoenix. And I am also in charge of the Entrepreneurship Society, also Dance Society, and the Director of Facilities. I'm looking forward to an exciting year, virtually, of course, and I'm loving the energy that I'm seeing so far, and I hope that it continues for the rest of the year. Thank you. Good evening, Tourites. I am Lamar Unique. Some of my responsibilities for the year is safety and security, events, cleans, and during the year, we'll try to send you some tips on cleans and how to keep organized so you can stay focused. And that's it. Um, stay safe. Good evening, Tower Rights. My name is Nicholas Little. I am one of the resident advisors tasked with spirited portfolios such as marketing and sponsorship, Tower's out outreach and welfare. Um, also the director for teams, Tower's expedition and excursion. Uh, and also one of the resident advisors in charge of Tower 4. We know that it's been a challenging time, but have no fear, your resident advisors are here to help. Just, you know, a message away, we'll be there for you. Thank you. Hi, good evening to our rights. My name is Mikhail Riley, and I am one of the resident advisors in charge of intramural sports. I'm also the director of Tower Sports and Vibes. I also have shared responsibility for the Towers Fitness Center and direct responsibility for Towers ASU mentorship. Although we're not able to see you guys face to face, trust me, we have a lot planned for you guys. And we hope that you do take part in all of the activities that we have planned for you. And I hope that you guys, you know, make the most out of the semester and let's see what the next semester will bring. Thank you. Good evening, everybody. My name is Kevin Farkison, one of the new resident advisors here at the El Salirani Hall. I am tasked with academic support for sports, towards student athlete development programs, expedition and excursion. I would like to take the opportunity to welcome the first years and all the other students who are returning. I. I regret the fact that you are not here tonight to join us and you know actually share a face to face interaction and get to know each other but again I encourage you to stay focused and find a way to make things happen even though you're not physically here. Thanks. Good evening. Welcome back returning wolves and welcome new wolves. My name is Melbourne Douglas and I am one of the resident advisors with responsibility for the first year experience program. I am responsible for the tower of Olympus. Zane, big up all my Olympites. You understand? I am also in charge of marketing and sponsorship, the choir as well as Hall Vibes. 
we know the circumstances. We don't need to talk about it. But all I have to say is COVID can't stop the vibes and we're going to have a good year. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Enjoy the program. Big up on yourselves. Greetings, ELR family. I am Christopher Jackson, your resident advisor in charge of the Towers Fitness Center, Health and Wellness Program, as well as the Fitness Club. I'm encouraging you all to go on Instagram and follow us at ELR underscore Fitness Center. Welcome. Morning, Tower Rights. Uh, my name is Rayon Salmon. I am one of your resident advisors in charge of the mighty Olympus. I am also, <laughs> I'm also um, in charge of tribunal, um, environmental and beautification, as well as career and development. I pray that you'll have a safe and productive year. And as Byrne said, COVID can't stop the vibes. Good evening, everyone. I am Siobhan Williams. I am one of the resident advisors here at the ELR Towers. I'm responsible for the Leadership Academy. I'm the director of the Towers Senior Experience and director of the league. I also have responsibility for cleans. Now, while it is that you are not here physically, being a part of the ELR Towers family means that you are a part of a culture of excellence. While you are at home, we advise that everyone gets a part of the hall. Just the same. Come interact online, of course, but ensure that you join a club, join a society, and you get something from your university life because that is why we're all here, and that is the purpose of the resident advisors to help fulfill you. Thank you again, and we look forward to interacting with all of you. Hello, Tour Rights. My name is Sion Blair, your resident advisor in charge of the Towers Performing Arts and Cultural Kaleidoscope, TPAC. Uh, I'm also the manager for the Debate and Oratory Society, the TPAC Visuals, TPAC Events, TPAC Drama. So, once again, guys, I would just like to leave something with you. In a time like this, which is unprecedented, there's always an opportunity that you can benefit from. So therefore, be brave and continue to make a difference as you continue to strive for excellence. Thank you. All right. All right. Good evening. My name is Dequan Coombs, and I am the hall chairman for the academic year. Now, whether you are new students, returning students, admin, myself, or even Mr. Anderson, we all, in some way or form, would have been disappointed when we saw that letter, that dreadful night. I know I surely was. However, we understand that given the circumstances, we are now charged with a mandate more than ever to rise above the challenges. Now, my Hall Committee, upon taking office to even enter in retreat, would have created or designed projects and initiatives that would not only benefit new residents, but also res residents who would have been leaving, residents who, would have, been, who have given earnestly for many years it was, and also residents who at some point would have lost the fire. Now, given these new situations, we must ask ourselves various questions. We must first ask ourselves, to what extent can we fairly advocate for the needs of the student, students given our circum circumstances currently? We must ask ourselves also, what is the most efficient way we can use resources that are available to us 
to ensure you tourists while at home still benefit as best as possible? And if not, how can we then negotiate for resources not yet available to us to do just the same? And I am not, or I don't feel rather defeated in the fact that these, uh, this is our reality, but I am confident that the Hall Committee, the resident advisors, and Mr. Anar SSDM will put in place certain mechanisms, facilities, whatever it may be to ensure that you have the most wholesome hall experience that you can while being at home. All right, I charge you. Please, please follow the necessary protocols outlined by the government to ensure that as soon as possible, we can once again experience a hall meeting by the gazebo and not on YouTube. I thank you and good evening. Take on. So you have seen the 16 resident advisors who will work with you for the academic year. And of course, you have also heard from your hall chairman, Mr. Coombs. He too is managing a group of about 20 persons and they are the people who make up the hall committee and they are going to be helping to lead the charge for this academic year at towers we speak only about excellence and when we speak about excellence we start first with your academic excellence it therefore means i want every all right to understand that even though some of you or most of you will be operating from the virtual space we want you to understand that the same level of work the same level of input must be placed on the subjects or the courses that you are doing for this semester we want to ensure that at the end of the year we have at least a hundred persons being part of the honor society. In order for you to be a part of the honor society, you have, you have to achieve a GPA of 3.6 or above. Once you have achieved that, then you are going to make the honor society and your name is going to go on the honor board and it is going to be something that will be in history. So I'm going to ask you to please work, work and work some more. Now you have time to consult. Now you have time to get the requisite help that you need. And if there are persons, especially the first years who might not be aware of the many programs that we have within the El Salirani space, one of those programs is the academic support unit. The academic support unit is there to assist students who might not be coping with a particular subject area or they need help with a particular topic within a particular course. We have persons who are equipped and persons who are ready to assist. We have persons who might be having issues with, for instance, econ courses. Econ 1000 is one of those courses that over the years we have a, a large number of persons not doing as well as they ought to do. Some of them even fail. Of course, we also have Econ 1005, which is statistics. We have the, the chemistry courses and of course the actuarial science courses. And I want everybody to understand that we have qualified persons to assist just in case you need help at the end of this meeting you can always email the hall directly or you can speak to one of the resident advisors miss maxwell tony maxwell would have indicated that she is the person who is in charge of academic support and she's supported by a cadre of resident advisors who will ensure that we have a vibrant and very effective 
academic support unit. Also, we need to ensure that we are going to be balancing the academic the academics with uh, the programs or being a part of a program because at the end of the year if we were to go back to online to face to face then we would have to select persons to come back in hall and of course we are going to choose the persons who would have participated in the programs that we offered throughout the year so we want you to engage yourselves or ensure that you are engaged in the programs that are being offered by either by TOWERS and or the programs being offered by the Office of Student Services and Development. You will see a number of notices going out inviting you to participate in whatever club or society having an event. But even before those come out, you can reach out to the resident advisors and tell them that you are interested in a particular uh, area. And once you have made that known to them, you will get a special invite to be a part of the club. There are certain students who are going to be contacted in respect to a number of the clubs and societies that we have. And of course, if you have a particular gift or talent, I want you to indicate that to the resident advisors so that they can have you join their group so that you can be actively engaged. I am now going to ask one of the VPs, the vice presidents from the guild to Well, uh, he's not. He's not. He's not here yet, and I'm not sure whether he'll he'll join us. But in any event, we'll move on. And I'm going to indicate that at present, what is happening now is that there are three halls that are housing students, and these are the students who must do face to face and are drawn mainly from the Faculty of Pure and, Pure and Applied Sciences. No, I, I think you call it Science and Technology now, and of course, some medical science students. The medical science students are being housed at ABC Hall, and all the other persons who require face-to-face -face are, are being housed at Taylor Hall and Preston Hall. There are, uh, there are other students who are on the 138 student living complexes, <laughs> meaning they are either at Georgia Lane, uh, Irving Hall, and the other one in front of the guild. With those, once you want to live in Hall, you can just apply and they will accommodate you. But with Preston, Taylor, and ABC, you must meet the criteria, meaning you must be one of those students who require face-to-face -face, uh, learning in order for you to be accommodated in that space. So presently, towards uh, Towers, C. Cole, Chancellor, and Rex Nettleford Hall have no student. And of course, we're not sure whether that is going to be for the semester or for the year. It depends on what the university says. And of course, what the university says depends on what is happening with the pandemic. But in any event, we will keep you informed as to what is happening. And as soon as we hear word, we will pass it to you. And if it is that we can welcome students back in hall, of course, you are going to be told and you are going to be in, in, in invited back to, to hall. It is really a sad time for us.
because we really wanted to have that face-to-face -face engagement with all of you, minus COVID, of course. And of course, we know that we would have retained Champion Hall for another year, making it six in a row. We have done it by just ensuring that we work hard, play hard, and study even harder. And I want to ensure that at the end of the day, wherever you are, once you are a Torah, you are making the A grade and you are participating and ensuring that your resume is something that will attract attention when you send it to prospective uh, employers. So when we say participate, we really want you to understand that when you participate, you are also building that resume and of course, telling people that you are more than just book smart, but you are coming to add something extra to the organization, coming to add to the productivity and effectiveness of the particular uh, organization. And that is why you must also join the Career and Development Club. In this time, we know that a lot of us, we are not so active anymore. So we have Towers Fitness Center, and that is managed by Mr. Christopher Jackson, for our otherwise known as Cracker. Used to be a baller, can't play ball no more, so now he's into administration. And we welcome him as one of the resident advisors. However, he is there to ensure that we keep fit, we eat healthy, and at the end of the day, when we go back into uh, the face-to-face -face, um, setup, we still look good, feel good, and of course, we are very healthy. Then we have an, a number of other things that I want all of you to be engaged in. For example, we want to still continue towards outreach and welfare. We have a project coming up, and as soon as we have finalized that project, we will be sending out the notifications. We are going to want people to, to contribute, sometimes in cash, sometimes in kind, and whichever way we are going to be asking you to contribute I want all of you to give freely and know that it is touching a life or saving a life or helping a life that need it. So I want you to look out for these notifications because we want everybody to participate. I want after tonight persons, as I said before, to call the resident advisors and sign up sign up for the different clubs and societies. If you have any questions, any queries in respect of housing, uh, billing in terms of, because there are a number of persons who still have things in hall, meaning in the rooms, arrangements must be made. So you need to make contact with the hall, with the resident advisors, so we know how to treat with those uh, items and how we are going to ensure that they are safe or that they can be retrieved. Ms. I want the resident advisors to speak to you in terms of if there's anything in particular that they want to update you on. I'll give the resident advisors who want to speak or want to, to make an announcement I'll give them the opportunity to make that to make that announcement. I want also to encourage all of the first years to ensure that they buy the paraphernalia. We bought and prepared things thinking that we would have had at least first years in hall. So there was a first year package that was being put together by the hall committee 
they should have been engaging you in terms of getting your your paraphernalia in terms of shirts your mask towers branded mask and whatever else they would have prepared for you you can call the you can ask what the price is i thought mr hall chair mr coombs would have come in the shirt to show you tonight that this is the new shirt for the for the first year and even if seniors think that they want to buy it we'll sell it to you too but we want you to support the the hall committee and of course even if you are in mobe you can still call and get your shirt we will send it to you and of course we have miss mr brown who has contact with our links with courier services and they might be able to deliver to you free if you speak to brown who is the one of the resident advisors here so speak to mr daquan and please ensure that you get your new shirts for the academic year i'm going to also open the floor for any comments or questions that you may want answered and at this time i will have mr burns uh moderate this section in terms of the questions and answers i will answer but mr d burns has to navigate how this is done Burns. Burns. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I was just getting the microphone ready, but remember that I'm also controlling the YouTube live. So I I had to be behind the camera. All right. So I'm looking at the questions here. So guys, if you have any questions, please feel free to direct your questions in the comments section. So, I don't know where I'm going. Uh, whoa. All right. So, please feel free to direct your questions to the comments sections. I, I have the comments. I have the chat here in front of me. So, just direct your questions there, and I'll be able to ask the question so Mr. Anderson will be able to respond. They may not have any questions, you know, Burns. Everybody well, well if they don't have questions, they can put comments. Missy P plus they want food. Missy P plus they send them mask to Savalana Mar, them place there. Yeah, Missy P plus they get two and if them mask. You understand? So it seems as if they are well, it definitely seems as though people are interested in the Towers merchandise. So sorry, you mute yourself. No, 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 I'm here. So there's I somebody saying, to... since I live in St. Catherine, can I still pay the $8,500 for the package? Yes, you can. The package yes, you can... is still available to the first years. So once, once you are interested, just let us know and we'll get the package to you. And for the first years, you will need to ensure that at some point you learn the song and the pledge and the history. So you would need to get the, the guide. We call it the Omega, which is the fresher guide. You'd also need to get that so that you can familiarize yourself with that. Mr. Burns, who is at the lectern, he's responsible for the first year experience program. And you ought to have been placed in small groups already each resident advisor or two resident advisors are responsible for a group so we will have at least eight groups and of course you are going to to have a very good time they had the launch some days ago and of course it was a very high launch and they are going to have a wonderful year in terms of ensuring that your transition from high school, home, COVID into UIC 
is one that is smooth and one that you will get the best out of the university experience. So Mr. Burns, I am, I am hoping that the list or the different groups would have been sent out already. Yeah, man, we are sorting out things, man. For, for, for the freshers who have the questions about picking up their merchandise and so forth, please just message us in the WhatsApp group and we'll give you the information right there. The hall chair has indicated to me that he does have some information for you guys with regards to the fresher packages. So just contact us one away in the WhatsApp group where we communicate and he will give you all that information. Mr. Anderson, I see Mr. Javon Gordon asking a question. Good evening. Can you speak to the resumption of residing on hall in January? Wishful thinking. All right, as, I would have, as I would have mentioned before, I have to get instructions from people who are set above me. So once the university makes a decision as to what is happening in January, then that will be communicated to the Torres. So as it stands now, I can't say whether we're going to be having face-to-face -face in January or we're going to have it in, in September of 2021 or August, September 2021. But of course, it depends on what is happening with the pandemic. And the university is going to act based on what the situation is and whether people are allowed. It's not just people are allowed, but, but based on how the, 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 the virus is being handled and, and the spread of it, whether it can be controlled and whether we can have people um, come back into the hall space. But once, that, once we get the green light, we are ready to take back our tour rights. And all the persons who would have been offered space, those are the persons who we would have are considered or will be considering if it were that we go back to the face-to-face -face interaction or the face-to-face -face setup. All right, sir. So Shanique Alain, she's asking, how does she get a mask? If she's in St. Vincent. If she's in St. Vincent, it can be sent by courier. I'm sure they have regular couriers in St. Vincent. So Shani could get her mask or whatever else, her shirt or jacket, because the whole shop is still operating, guys. So we still have a number of things in the wolf shop, a number of uh, merchandise in the, in the wolf shop to include uh, jackets, shirts, uh, lanyards, armbands, masks, and the list goes on. Yes, Mr. Burns. All right, so, so Shani, just message a resident advisor personally and we will assist you with that there was another question here romario there will be no curry goat and refreshments after unless you have your own curry goat and refreshments home so javon garden is asking what is the clear flow of communication between the administration and the virtual residents and can we guarantee the timeline and that is in respect of what in particular I think it is in respect to what you would have communicated just now about making or about awaiting information from your superior. So I think he wants to know how do we communicate to the virtual students when we get information from your superiors and can we guarantee some timeliness? Javon, Once if I am... Once we get the information from the university, it is going to be sent out immediately. Immediately. Oh, yes. Yeah, sorry. I did say timelines. Javon, I'm sorry. I had said timelines, but you had timeliness. So even though we're virtual, what was the update on the Wi-Fi issue? That's the MITS issue. As you can appreciate they had started the upgrade by placing 
one of the routers at the gazebo and that worked well last academic um last academic year and of course they are still in the process of upgrading the the, the systems and of course they have indicated and i'm talking about mits they have indicated that they are trying to see how best they can upgrade the system, not just at towers, but across the campus. So I am I'm hopeful that something will happen and it will happen in time for the reopening or the, 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 the we, we getting back to the face-to-face -face, uh, type of engagement. So something, they say that something is being done Mr. Gordon. So hopefully we see or we can reap the reward as soon as we get back together. All right. So this one from Daniel Thomas. What if we want to purchase the package by using the remaining amount of money from our hall fees paid for this semester, since the cost for hall fee would be less in semester two? Well, it would have to be a different engagement because the, they would have to request the refund from the university through the BOSS system, the BOSS system. Once that is done and they get the money, they can make arrangements with the hall committee or the RAs to pay for the package, or they can send that money to the, to the hall, meaning the RAs or the hall committee. This from Renelia Lowe, big up yourself, Renelia. How about the construction of the unfinished flooring on different towers? I think she's talking about the tiles. I think she's talking about the tiles there. Tiles. All right. That is still in the, uh, well, we still have plans to finish or to continue the tiling on the other uh, towers. However, the university would have indicated that they are having some financial constraints. And in respect of towers, in a, for example, we are not getting an income this, this, this year. And not having an income, it means that there is no money in the towers um, kitty to take care of these large projects. So I, I, I'm still going to see what is happening because we had got a purchase order for tiles um, last year, but that may have expired. So I will try to see whether we can re-engage the, the, the process so that we can have some of those floors tiled before we get back to the face-to-face -face, uh, setup. And this one from Kenil Duar. Okay, so if we get the go-ahead to come back, what precaution measures will towers take to ensure or try to ensure students' safety? All right. All the measures that you have heard about, whether it be the national measures, would plus measures that the university would have uh, put together would be in place. So, for instance, there would have been fewer persons living on a particular floor. They had an arrangement only for single occupancy. So there would be no double occupancy uh, on tower three and anybody who would live in, in, in the tower three space would would only well they would have a single room to themselves uh in respect of uh what you call it wash stations we had started to install wash stations we had installed i think two already we also uh, started to install the hand sanitizers at the entrance of each tower. And of course, we would have 
started to put up the signs in respect of the do's and the don'ts. And we would have ensured that there would have been limited uh, visitation, as it were. So we would have cut back on people entering the, 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 the different towers. And even if you were living within the tower space, it would not be a free thoroughfare in terms of moving from tower five to tower four uh, or tower four to tower, tower, tower one. So there are a number of things that we have put together and those would have been put together for the September start of school. But because they changed and, and everything is now uh, virtual, we had to put that on hold. But if it were that we were to come back either January or after, we would ensure that all the measures are put in place to ensure that our students are safe. In terms of if somebody were to be found to have uh, symptoms or even tested positive, for the virus. There are also uh, measures and procedures that they would have to follow. And of course, there is what is called a COVID task force that is put together by the university. And they would have sent out guidelines on how the, the operation of the hall ought to be governed. So things would have been put in place or will be put in place. Sir, Alwyn Bisesa wants to know if a student was working in the office last semester and has not been paid, who does that student contact? Jody Prendergast, the senior administrative assistant. Jody is a Torah, is a sorry, a resident advisor, but she also works at the office and she's a person who would deal with all payments. Or, yes. or, or the or administrative resident. She's also the administrative resident advisor. So Jody is the person to contact if you worked last year and you are still not yet paid. What about the Olympus shirts? that they paid for last year. Quan, come answer this. Yes, Quan. Shirts will be about 10, um, nine or 10 persons ordered shirts. However, just, just DM me. No, matter of fact, I'll approach you as soon as this live is over to have the money refunded as soon as possible. All right, so Bur for those I, people I who- Brown um, Burns, sorry. I can't. So for the people, a, just. Of a, of a tower. Burns. Yes, sir. Burns, hear me? Of a tower of 132. Only nine persons ordered shirts. Coombs. I would just want to tell, tell the persons who don't have shirts that the tower of Apollo, we have additional shirts selling. So if persons are interested in getting the winning shirt uh, or buying the winning shirt, they can contact the Tower of Apollo Aries. Hello? Okay, so for the people... Burn. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Yeah, man, I was just reminding the people, so, so for the people... From Tower One, link Quan for that. Keneal. <laughs> All right, cool. Sir, I think I think that's it for the questions. I'm not seeing any more questions. I'm seeing some comments. I'm seeing some comments here. People just bigging up Apollo. Some people saying one Apollo. Let's oh, let's I, wanted to, I wanted to tell the first years. Yes, sir. That who would have lived on Tower One, the Tower of Olympus, 
Yes. They are called Olympians and not <laughs> Olympics. <laughs> okay. Kenil, we're not asking that question, Kenil. We're not asking that question. So, yes, my, my freshers, you are all Olympians. You are all Olympians, okay? Big up on yourselves. One Olympus, you understand? People saying they want a Phoenix shirt. Links, link Phoenix Tower Rep bought Phoenix shirt. All right. Uh, any of the Aries need to send out any notice or make an announcement? This is the time for you to do that. Any of them coming, Burns? Yes, sir. All right. So, good evening again, everybody. Um, as we're on the subject of the different towers, most of you guys would have been added to WhatsApp groups for your respective towers, whether it be Apollo, Olympus, Orion, Dragons, or Phoenix. If it is that you would like to participate for the year and you have not been included in these activities, please reach out to me as soon as possible. You can reach me. You can send me an email. I'll drop the email address in the, in the chat shortly. Or you can message on, the, on Instagram to the Hall, Hall's Instagram page and they will send it to me. So that is if you are not yet included in any of the tower activities that are happening now, which is just being added to the group so we can start planning our inter-tower activities, then please reach out and I'll assign you to a tower and get you involved. All right, that's it from me. Next person. Testing. Hello, guys. Um, once again, as it relates to TPAC, we are planning a paint and sip that's going to take place on October 3rd at 8 p.m. Now, of course, the venue will be on Zoom, so we're expecting as much persons as possible to participate in this event. It will be spearheaded by TPAC Visuals. Now... A, so a list of items that I would advise for you guys to have when you're participating in this grand event is uh, to have paint, a canvas, pencil, paint brushes, cups, and wine. It will be something different. It's something never has happened before. Would have typically had the one in person, but we're expecting that this year will be even bigger and greater. So we look forward to having you guys there to have some fun and you know just sip on some wine. Good evening again, everyone, regarding the Towers Entrepreneurship Society. I'd just like to invite everyone, whether new or returning, to join us this Sunday, October 4, for our official launch. And we'll have a guest speaker as well. You know, you can come and learn everything about entrepreneurship and how you can create opportunities for yourself. Also, I would like to implore our student athletes especially our scholarship athletes, to reach out to us. You can message on the Hall's Instagram page or you can send an email regarding the help that you might need. We also have a WhatsApp group, so as soon as you reach out to us, then you can be added. Thank you. Good evening again, everyone. The Towers Dance Society, we are currently having virtual auditions and the deadline is the 4th of October. So I'm inviting everyone, all the dancers, to go on the Instagram page, Towers Dance Society, and then they will have, there will be the link in the bio for you to register and then the video will be sent to you and you will be able to create your video and send into audition. Thank you.
Good evening again, everyone. So um, as resident advisors, we understand that this new normal must have come as a, an unusual change to you guys. Um, considering that the EAC this academic year, this semester in particular, has decided that we're going to focus on mental health awareness. So we have a couple of things coming up. I know you guys have been seeing the post on Instagram. And for those of you who haven't, I implore you to follow the ELR EAC Instagram page. That's ELR underscore EAC. Um, upcoming events. We have a week of events coming up um, October 5th to 10th. Uh, mental, mental, mental Health health Awareness Week. Sorry. Um, it's going to con. It's going, yeah, so the 5th of October to the 10th of October, we have stuff like a panel discussion and yoga session as well. So it's going to be interactive and engaging. And please guys just follow. I know that some of us are taking these changes really hard. Um, so reach out to the resident advisors, follow the page and just, you know, stay motivated. All right, Mr. Anderson, that's it from us. All right. So guys, rem remember that we are keeping a record of the persons who participate in these meetings. Whether it be a hall meeting, whether it be a club or a society, we are keeping a record of everybody who participate in each of the, the, the events. Because we want to ensure at the end of the year, if it is or next year, if it next semester, if it is, we have limited space. If it is, we're going to be face to face. We take people who really participated and contributed because when we get 2000 applications per year, we can only take 500 plus. And that 500 must be divided 576 or 600 rather. It must be divided between seniors and first years so please ensure that you are logging on and of course your resident advisors can make a note of the fact that you participated in a particular event or session at this at this time i would want to say thank you for joining us thanking you thank you for giving us one hour of your time and of course we will meet again in very short order and any major updates those will be sent to you and if it is we need to meet again as a whole so that everybody knows exactly what is happening and anybody who wants to speak directly to admin or resident advisors then this is also a platform for you to speak to us uh, we're going to do what is customary and we're going to do, we're all, we're all going to stand and do the whole song and pledge. And of course, I want to see the resident advisors at the lectern who will lead all song and pledge. You know what I would like to do? I would like to see see the mouth. Guys, you live together. <laughs> All of you live together.
Where is Chevron? Where is I see Chevron? Where is Kevin? And Erica. We need to see them moving. Kevin, move the mask. <laughs> After E, LR, Paul Sang. All pledge after E L R. the values of loyalty, respect, and honor on all whom we encounter on our path to greatness. I am a wolf. My pack and I are one, for now and forevermore. Tony, yes, sir. thank you, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Tony, Christopher stood in the back. Christopher stood in the back and smiled for the entire time. Be, before we leave though, sir, I must I must say thank you. I must say just thank you to everybody who made this possible. Uh, big up all resident advisors. I want to say thank you, Mr. Anderson, for being present. Thank you to everyone who tuned in. Respect to our PRO, Mr. Sevon McIntosh. You understand he was very instrumental in getting everything together. Respect to the Hall Share as well for being here and lending his support. And just respect to the entire Towers family. Fire full. Thank you, Mr. Burns. Thank you, Aris. Yes, sir. So ladies and gentlemen, do enjoy the rest of your evening. Mr. Anderson, that's it. We're going to cut now.